Welcome again to another video of PCB Event Deck Labs. Today I will demonstrate the high frequency function generator that I made for my laboratory. Now you can find the complete circuit schematics along with the work log and the material that I used in my website. And okay, let's let's see the, the function generator. This is the main switch. From here you turn on and off the generator and this is an indication lamp it turns on when the function generator is in operation you have two outputs uh, the first one is a normal output you get the waveform from here and the second one is a TTL output you always get 5 volts at 50% duty cycle for synchronization reasons this switch sets the output type you can select a sine wave output or you can select triangular wave or you can select rectangular pulses and from this switch this is a 12 position switch you can select the frequency range for example, here we have 150 up to 1 kHz and this uh, wave function generator can go up to 10 MHz. Of course, the signal is not very good at that high frequency. I think the problem may be of a wrong amplifier that I have select or it could be the design of the PCB. Anyway, let's go on. This knob here sets the duty cycle. When the switch is off, the duty cycle is 50% all the time. And you can enable the duty cycle adjustment with the switch and you can set from 10% up to 90% duty cycle. This uh, potentiometer, the red one, set, uh, gives uh, a DC offset to the output waveform. With the switch turned off, there is no DC offset, of course. And when you enable the switch, you can give a DC offset to the output. This potentiometer here will adjust the amplitude of the, of the output it can go up to 24 volts peak to peak with this potentiometer you can adjust the frequency of the output within the selected range, range from the switch and with this potentiometer you can micro adjust the frequency ok that's it so I I will demonstrate in operation the function generator I connect the oscilloscope to the output I turn on the supply and I turn on the function generator I adjust the time base for the oscilloscope ok so right now we are nearly 200 and 80 Hz ok the range is from 150 up to 1 kilohertz. we can adjust the range from the, the frequency from the potentiometer, higher frequency or lower frequency and we can fine adjust the output from this potentiometer this is a couple of Hz difference we can increase or decrease the amplitude of the of the output from this potentiometer right now we are at about mm, 2 volts peak to peak up to twenty two volts peak to peak okay 
and uh, from this potentiometer we can give a DC offset right now you can see that the output is above or below the zero and I can add a DC offset you can see that the waveform is moved up and down this is due to the DC offset and uh, from this potentiometer I can adjust the duty cycle I enable the potentiometer and I can go from 10% duty cycle up to 90% these are the limits ok now I can have triangular waveform again I can adjust the peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage and I can add a DC offset and I can adjust the duty cycle this is a, actually a show tooth ok or I can have a sine wave waveform very nice and smooth sine wave sine wave waveform again I can add a DC offset positive or negative of course up to 24 volts 12 volts positive and 12 volts negative can go higher or I can adjust the duty cycle of the output I can decrease the frequency ok now I am 50 Hz or increase the frequency eighty kilohertz or more don't know yes now I am one megahertz and you can see that the output signal is not exactly what we would expect this is not a very clear sine wave but maybe I need to change the amplifier or maybe this is a limitation of the chip anyway that's all about this function generator thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit the website for more interesting projects and circuits